Breaking news. We know those behind Imo's attack. Hope is it them. Hello, my wonderful people. That's the governor of Imo State in the capital, Owere. That's where we had um, a correction center being, in, being uh, taken over or inmate being released, over 1,800 inmates and um, burnt down. Nigerian army is currently there committing genocide. And now the governor is saying they know the exact people who committed this evil act and atrocity. And um, people are really wondering, what have you been doing? What did you do to prevent it? What are you doing to ensure that this does not happen again? Opisidema is the governor who released Nigerian army on a group called IPOB or ESN and all they were crying for or agitating for was a republic nothing more that was their crime please don't forget to give us a thumbs up subscribe if this is your first time emu state governor hope uze Demma has said a aggravated politician sponsor monday's attack in the state uze Demma spoke on wednesday while fishing on a channel's television program politics today the governor said what is important for nigeria to note is that the plot by a group of aggravated politicians to destabilize the government of APC, the All Progressive Congress, where those who masterminded what happened. So who are these people if they are aggravated? So that means they are not IPOB, like the former Inspector General of Police said, and they are not ESM members as well. That is the uh, security outfit that has been put up by Unandi Kano in the uh, southeastern part of the country and since then the governors of the southeast have used it as a convenient excuse not to set up the right uh, security architecture in place and we continue to see lives and property being destroyed instead of them to rise up to the occasion set up their security architecture they are just listening about because it is state sponsored and i guess they don't want to allocate any budget from the state fund to ensure that they pay the, those who are in, employed by the security outfit, their salaries and what have you. You can see that people prefer money rather than human life, rather than human sanity. People prefer to hold on, you know, uh, rather than doing the right thing to secure lives and property. This has become a common practice where we see that people who should be looking after people are rather very selfish and all they are talking about is mainly themselves how they can do more, how they can get to the next level, how they, but they've forgotten that true wealth and true, uh, true, you know, man moving forward is when you have been able to affect lives, when you are not seen, when you are being seen as somebody who has been able to change life, when you are being seen as somebody who has been able to effect a change and people can look back and be grateful to God for you then you know that you're already effective and you are making tangible change. But when you are just there by yourself and you think that you are, no, 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 no. You don't make progress that way. You don't establish, you don't, you don't bring about prosperity in that way. You are truly, you are truly doing well when you have been able to affect the lives around you. You are truly doing well when you have been able to touch those around you and you can, you can adequately say that I you know, people can say through this person, I am who I am now. This person has helped me. I, I can now stand on my two feet. That's how you effect a change. It's not by teaching people. It's not by giving people fish. It's by teaching them how to fish. By the time you begin to implement such kind of measures in place, by the time you begin to become, you, you, you know, you become, you become that person who people rely on you know, and they rely on you for a while, then you win them off because they are not able to stand on their two feet. Then you say that you are now what? You are now effective, effecting change. So if these people you are talking about are not um, IPOBs or ESM, on their own and they can, uh, like it was accused by the former uh, uh, Inspector General of Police, that's the IGP, who was unceremoniously discharged. Can you, have you noticed a pattern with Buhari? There's, there are some people, after using, he dumps them like a pack of cards. Or did they just split aside? Did you notice how Adam Sushumole, who was working tirelessly, intensely for this administration, was dropped like a pack of cards? Yes. 
now it's being done again you know to the uh, new inspect the former inspector general of police you know the after his, his tenure has been extended for a period of another three months but the guy was happy and thinking okay now i can uh, and there was an, an alleged information that this guy has spent lots of money to ensure that um he gets this position he has spent lots of money to ensure that you know his tenure is extended but what we are hearing now is that actually really truly he did not get that opportunity he only spent exactly two months and two days and that very extension normally his tenure was supposed to expire to have expired uh that was uh, february the first by february the first he has completed 35 years of acting service and according to nigerian constitution there is no need for him to remain in office one day after that day however buhari extended his tenure and people began to ask nigerians who wants to preserve the constitution and uh, what makes up nigeria took buhari and his administration to court to say this is not the right thing to do how come this man's tenure has been extended according to nigerian constitution you are only able or allowed to stay in office before your 35th year of active service or 65 years you know as uh, with age even if you started working at 60 so long as you're 65 you're due for retirement how come he's still in office my dear the attorney general of the federation that's Abu Bakr Malami, Buhari himself. I don't know if it's Buhari because honestly speaking, since I heard the case that uh, Buhari is on feet, is on well to govern Nigeria, I wonder truly really who makes and who calls all the shots because um, they told us that um, we just about less than 48 hours ago the driver of buhari who deceived him to sign a fraudulent document in which uh, he gained about a thousand uh, millions of naira for himself died in the hospital and it's also been revealed that he was tortured i mean tortured beyond recognition and it was the injury inflicted on him that led to his death a few days later where he was dumped at the uh, Abuja uh, Presidential uh, Hospital. They knew he was going to die anyway because of the level. He was broken beyond measure. So they threw him there to make it look like of natural cause. But the truth of the matter is, if this were to be abroad, every one of them, all the DSS operatives would have gone to prison because thorough investigation would have been carried out. Whether you like it or not, he had freedom of right. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.